I think it's um, it's tough to call right now which one will get there first, but um, I do believe that if you look at the three companies that I think most people think have the best chance, it's the three that you mentioned, Amazon, Google, and Apple. Um, I think that you know Amazon probably has the best chance of maintaining a high growth rate for the longest time. It also, as you point out, has the, has the longest way to go. It still has to double. Um, you know, I think Google also has a pretty good chance it would have to keep its growth rate up Agreed. for three or four more years. Uh, so I think you know, those are probably the two that have the biggest chance. Well, that's the <laughs> that speaks volumes about what you think about Apple. That's only got to go 25%, and you still think that the others have a better chance. So. Yeah, and I, and I don't cover Apple, but I, but I do think that, you know, the growth from these other stocks is probably going to be, you know, faster over the next few years. Um, you, you've got a list of things that Amazon has going for it, and it's, it is pretty incredible. I mean, I think some of it's in the stock, obviously, because it's not on a valuation basis doesn't deserve to be here. Probably the biggest thing is that, is that re, uh, e-commerce is still only around 8% of retail. So you have to think Amazon's going to be the biggest player in that category. Uh, continue to take share, and so if e-commerce can keep uh, growing as a percentage of retail, that's probably the biggest tailwind that Amazon has. I think another um, another uh, thing that people often overlook is that AWS was started from nothing, basically inside of Amazon. And I think investors have to ask, what's the next huge business that Amazon might incubate internally? Uh, most people um, think that it's probably a global shipping service to compete with FedEx and UPS. You know, they're already doing that to uh, solve their own the internal problems. The global shipping service that they would then allow others to use too? Yeah, I mean that's how AWS started. It was, mm -hmm. hey, how can I um, create computing power for the peak uh, seasons, right? And then in the off season, they started reselling that capacity to other companies. And so uh, this shipping capability is, is the exact same thing. During the holidays, UPS and FedEx run out of capacity. Amazon has to make their own. And ultimately, I think they'll sell that service to other businesses. Wasn't Amazon struggling, though, with some of the airplanes recently? Well, they definitely struggled with the pilots. They had a, right. a lot of pilots that were sort of protesting at the shareholder meeting a couple weeks ago. Um, and I'm sure they're going to have growing pains as they, as they scale that business up. But is that a business that you can Amazon, if you will? I think it is. I mean, it's scale-based. It takes a lot of capital. Uh, it takes a long-term view. And, you know, uh, Amazon has permission to do this from its shareholders, right? And, and But you think you can do it, they can do it more efficiently and effectively than a UPS or a FedEx? Well, that, I, think, I think they're already UPS and FedEx's largest customer. Um, you know, that business has 15 to 20 percent operating margins, which is already higher than Amazon's margins. So I think there's a, you know, there's an ability for Amazon to come in and sort of undercut. So you figure brick and mortar is, is a growth opportunity, too? That seems back to the future. I think it's still experimental. I mean, we, we just opened, uh, Amazon just opened a bookstore over in Columbus Circle. It's number seven out of, I think, 13 that are planned for the U.S., so still very small numbers. Um, I think a big uh, hook for those stores is to try to tie into the e-commerce business. Uh, they, they're basing the merchandise that they feature in those stores on, on online shopping trends. Um, I think it's still experimental, but I think if they can, if they can show that they can make a good return on things like bookstores and grocery that they'll probably pursue it you know more fully so international expansion how much could that help that's a that's a huge deal I mean India is the biggest place where they're spending a lot of money right now India is a, a sizable drain on the international e-commerce margin um, but it's also responsible for a lot of the growth that Amazon's uh, 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 experiencing um, you know a big part of the international growth is the prime business we, we estimate they've got around 80 million prime members 40 in the US 40 internationally but the international part of that is growing a lot faster so um, it's taking what's worked in the US and stamping it out globally is really the so game. Hey there thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories you can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC thanks for watching